Hey y'all and welcome to another day. I am gonna walk up here and show y'all kind of what we got going on with the mailbox. I was gonna go try to put it up today but I'm not even sure if all the lines have been marked for the water, the gas, and AT&T lines. They've got to be marked before I can go out there and dig. I'm pretty sure I know where they're all at but I want to make sure that they mark them. Um, I am going to show you what we've got going on though with the mailbox. If you watched, I can't remember what day the vlog was now, but we went and we got the post and we got the mailbox. Y'all don't even think I actually showed you the mailbox that I picked out, but you'll see all that in this video. Um, I'm going to go ahead and walk up here now and show you the post and the stain and how that ended up looking. I started to stain it in that video, but then I went back and put a second coat on it. Um, I've got to go and dig the hole. It's kind of wet and overcast and dreary today, but I still just want to get it done. I don't know. We may walk uh, right out there and see. I'll have all the kids with me too, which might make it a little bit difficult, but that doesn't mean I can't do it. And I know Justin said he would be more than willing to go out there and do it. So we'll just have to see. We're at least going to go evaluate the situation. Let me show you this post though and show you how it turned out. So as far as stain colors, y'all, I am a dark walnut stain lover. I think everybody has that one stain color that they're like, yep, that's my jam. I know that that's what I like. I know that, that makes me happy. And for me, that's dark walnut. But I wanted to try something a little different. Step outside the box a little bit. Everything in my home is still going to be that darker color, I think. Uh, but I wanted to do something a little bit different outside and I'm even thinking about like my porches and things like that I may try to do this color I'm gonna look at it for a little while <laughs> and see what I what I think about it before I commit but so far I'm liking it like I said it's out of my comfort zone a little bit but let me show it to you and you'll kind of see, see what I mean as far as it's not that real dark neutral brown so this is the post it's a six foot four by four treated four by four and it's coming across more orange on camera than it really is. I'll see if I can try to get a picture of it that shows the true color. It does have a rust or clay-ish undertone. This is the stain that I used. Canyon Brown by Valspar. And I think that's a perfect name for this color. It's a brown that has this clayish undertone to it and like I said it's coming across a little more orange orange than it really is but it definitely has that undertone to it this is a six foot post and my original plans were to cut about six inches off of it and bury it about two feet in the ground about 24 inches in the ground and then have about 42 inches to the mailbox that's kind of the the standard that you're supposed to go by but Justin said why don't we just bury it an extra six inches instead of cutting that six inches off that may be really difficult <laughs> like in my mind I'm thinking those extra six inches digging may be a pain in the tail <laughs> but we're gonna try it and see and if all else fails then we'll just cut those six inches off I'm also going to walk out here and show you the mailbox real quick just inside of the box. We picked a white mailbox and then I had, if you watch that vlog, I had originally ordered, not ordered, I had originally bought some mailbox numbers while we were at Walmart and then I got on Etsy and I found a decal and so I ordered one of those to go on the side of the mailbox. I ordered a black decal to put on the white mailbox and I think that that will look really nice. Let me go show you the mailbox. It was out here in the car <laughs> but this is the mailbox that we picked out. We're gonna put it I think just straight on the pole. I got a mounting bracket. It's in the house. I'll show that to you once we go to actually install the mailbox but I thought I would show you but this is the mailbox we picked out. We got it at Lowe's. We got the post at Lowe's. We got the stain at Lowe's. We got the mounting bracket at Lowe's. That's where all of those things came from. We're going to go ahead 
and go over there and assess the situation see if we want to try to put this up today or if I'm gonna wait on Justin either way the next part that you see will probably be installing the mailbox whether it's today or a different day with his help and I wanted to point out that this is the kind of project that I could do on my own for sure now I am the kind of person who thinks I could do anything on my own I, it doesn't matter what it is I'm like I can figure it out I can make it happen but this is something I could do on my own whether or not I will is gonna depend on a lot of things because I'm going over there with all four of the kiddos today one being a baby if you're near around here and the weather's not really in my favor today we're in the process of moving so all of our tools and everything are packed up so I'm gonna have to find my um, stepdads and borrow his those things are kind of working against me but this is the kind of project that no doubt I could do on my own. It's just going to depend on how the how the cards play out. Hi. So plan for the mailbox now is my brother-in-law is going to come. He had a, I guess like a hand auger. He's going to come and help dig a hole for it. And we're going to do it that way. So we're waiting on him to get here and we'll get that mailbox put in the ground. Help him pull the, yeah. Whoa, where's drop flag? It. Flag! Hold, bro. You ripped the box. What? Alright y'all, let's put up a mailbox. Could I have dug this hole by hand? Absolutely. Uh, but this hand auger made it so much easier. My brother-in-law had that 30 inch hole dug in 30 seconds flat. Remember we did 30 inches because we're using the full six foot post and we wanted it to be 42 inches above the ground. Do you have to put quick crete in? No, but it's something that we chose to do just following the directions on the bag. You could put your, just put your uh, dirt back in and tamp it down really well. There's a mounting bracket that we got at Lowe's. It comes with everything you need, including the screws and instructions. Really easy, you just screw it onto the post and then you screw the mailbox onto the mounting bracket. And just like that, y'all, we have a mailbox. And I am loving the way that white mailbox looks with that stained post and the black decal on the side of it. My brother-in-law saved the day. Oh, y'all. Well, it is a rainy, yucky day today. The weather has been pretty bad. It got pretty rough this morning. I know in some areas it was a lot worse than it was here, but now it's kind of down to just rain, and that's what we're dealing with. But I thought that I would just share my excitement that we have a mailbox up now. It's actually the next day, and uh, I was just thinking about it and thinking about how excited I was that we have a mailbox up. I know that that seems like such a small thing but to me it feels like such a big thing like it's just it's another step it's another thing done another thing marked off the list I can start getting my mail <laughs> where we're gonna be um I can start picturing you know where our driveway is gonna be right right past the mailbox and I know it was just so exciting to get that put up y'all it went so easy took less than 30 minutes I was glad that my brother-in-law and my sister came out and helped me because we got it done so quick. The kids played while we worked on that. And in less than 30 minutes, we had a mailbox up. And it's very simple. But I love the way it turned out. Especially with the decal that I put on the side of it. That I had ordered off of Etsy. That has our last name and our address and everything. It just looks so nice. The stained wood with the white mailbox, white mailbox and the black decal looks really nice. Yet it's so simple. And we have a mailbox. That's, that just, it makes me happy. All right, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and close this one out, and we will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. If you're not already subscribed, we would love to have you as part of our family around here. We'd love to have you share this journey with us. We love you guys. We appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.